okay for <clears throat> question number six it's given that a stone of one kg is shown with a velocity of 20 meter per second so mass of stone is one kg and initial velocity is 20 meter per second it's shown across the frozen surface of a lake and it comes to rest so if it comes to rest that means the final velocity is zero after traveling a distance of 50 meters the distance is 50 meter we have to find the force of friction between the stone and the force of friction whatever the force is its mass into acceleration that means we have to find the acceleration and for that we are going to use one of the three equations of motion the first one is v is equal to u plus at the time is not given so we are not going to consider this let's consider the second one or the third one v square minus u square is equal to 2 as this will work for us because v is known u is known and distance is also known so v is 0 u is 20 meter per second and acceleration has to be calculated distance is 50 so this is minus 400 which is equal to 100 into a and this gets cancelled so this is minus 4 and acceleration is equal to minus 4 square now we have to find the force of friction so the force of friction is mass into acceleration mass is 1 kg acceleration is negative 4 so this is negative 4 newton and negative sign here indicates that the force of friction is opposite in which the stone is going so let's say this is if this is lake and if we have uh, thrown a stone in this direction so the force of friction is in opposite direction so that's why we have this negative sign so with this we are done with question number six do like share and subscribe thank you for watching